Scientific is a fantastic resource for the primary classroom, loads of maths activities um, and just learning experiences for the children. So you can go to either matific.com if you're using a website or you can get some apps. It's available on the App Store um, if you've got an Apple device and it's available as an Android app um, as well from Google Play so your students can actually access it from their iPads and so can you as a teacher. So first things first you need to log in. Okay, there'll be a login button here and it's really simple um, to do. When you get to this as your home page first of all you need to go to class management to set up your class. So just pop in your name, your year group that you teach, the number of students in your class, you'll be assigned as the teacher and then what you need to do you'll get to this page and you click on this icon and then you can either add your students manually or you can fill in a template it's like an Excel form so you can just copy and paste your students in and it will do it for you really really easy and then you've created your class. Next thing you need to do is give your students their logins and again you can just print those out as logins very very easy to do so let's have a look at the maths activities now so when you click on here you can actually access all years but yours will be the the year you're in will be the priority so if I'm doing negative numbers I'll just type in negative into that and then what it will do is it will search um, first of all for year six activities um, you can see here there's seven activities it's found and for differentiation it does do some um, other year groups which you can use as well so you've got some really nice um, five oh yes five I can see um, activities ah, and then two lesson plans and a worksheet as well so let's have a look um, this one that's quite good for my lesson today just click on the play button and it will instantly load up the game um, now what you can do you can um, broadcast sorry broadcast it that will mean if you, all your students are on their iPads it will um, instantly send this to them um, you can share it to your um, classroom if you wish or you can use it on your smart board um, so just make it full screen and then project and the games are really really simple um, so here we have to graph the following value on the grid minus 40 degrees minus 40 degrees so Fahrenheit to Celsius we click here so minus 40 and then minus 40 click here press done nice and simple activity and then lots of more activities like that. Let's go and have a look at another one. So maybe after I've shown that as my starter to the lesson, I might want this one um, for their um, activity in class or maybe even a homework at the end of the day. All you have to do, this panel here on the side, is your class assignments or homework. So I'm going to set this one for my class assignment. Just drag it over and then that'll be their task and it will instantly come up on their account and then I want to do for the homework let's do save the ball and drag it in and you can see it's instantly there um, for your students and then they have to complete it when they've done it all you have to do is you go to reports and it gives you how well they did it um, and it obviously who's completed it um, and that really is a simple overview of it but it's a really really nice um, website lots of things involved finally I just want to show you the resources so here we have some teacher guides we just click on year six it gives you some um, good teaching strategies um, some really good lesson plans as well so again put your year group in go down to year six or whatever your year you're in uh, let's have a quick look at one. So this is your two adding two digit numbers. So it's got your goals, opening questions, um, and then it's got the um, game that you could play the students. So you could assign that or you could do it as a whole class. Some good key questions there. 
and then it's got a close as well. So nice simple plans that you can print off. Um, they, they're in the PDF format. Um, if we just carry on going down, there's a few video guides and talks. Uh, really good if you're flipping your classroom so you could actually you know, send these to the students and they have to watch it and then come back into the lesson uh, prepared. There's some talks. So they found some really good talks. A few tutorials on how to use the site um, and a few other bits of study as well. Um, so that's really um, the simple overview. The main ways I use it is um, in class setting it as activities for the students um, and each um, week I set them um, two tasks as homework and I find that really works well. Thank you very much.